Welcome to Shipston, where we are for the weekend with Simon and Henry. I just got here this morning, we're now doing a bit of shopping. I say we, we're accompanying the shoppers. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. So this is Stratford upon Avon in the churchyard, just around the corner from Simon's office. Forgive the cold. So that's how you get across the river without paddling. They once made a TV show called, yeah. I think, Star Trap, which was Star a sort Trap. of a comedy drama, one-off comedy drama detective yeah. thing, and they sit in Stratford, and the very last scene was shot on that ferry there. How many seasons did that last for? Uh, it was it was a one-off, so oh, okay. it was like one part or two parts. Yeah. So it was a murder mystery thing. Oh. Star Trap. It was in the late eighties or early nineties. Stratford facts. Stratford. Yeah. Stratford facts. <laughs> Whose house? Shakespeare's house, obviously. the RSC Centre and this is the Avon as in Stratford-upon there's lots of nice uh, overtones of classic 80s soft rock <laughs> floating in the air that have been donated. That one donated by Bruges, known as a great giver of lampposts internationally. Back by Shakespeare's church. Good morning. Going for a walk. Fruit picking going on. Are they pears are oh, awesome. That's a massive pear tree. Getting the ascent. Craziness. It's turning out to be a very nice day again.
So here's the view from the top of the hill. It's quite spectacular, especially the sort of autumn clouds. Come back across the sheep. We've got to get back down there. Because we're having lunch down there somewhere. I couldn't tell you exactly where because I can't quite get my bearings. Probably that way-ish. That's the way we're going. Very much orchard, orchard country around there. On camera, Millie. Is it you? It's all about you. <laughs> Come away. I'm looking impressed. <laughs> Nothing's too tight, is it? Wonderful weekend that was. Um, I only showed you a little bit, but um, I think you get the idea. Beautiful in Warwickshire. I've had two fantastic weekends away in a space of three weeks, so I'm doing rather well, to be honest. And really nice to see uh, Simon and Henry, because uh, don't see them that often, obviously, because they're in Warwickshire. So there we go. Um, so yeah, good start to the week. And um, strange, strange point of the week so far. It's only Sunday night, but. Um, have a look at this. I'm going to have to uh, cover the uh, most of the postcodes and not give too much away. Yes, so Vince Cables invited me to his house. Anyway, so that, yeah, rock and roll. Um, I'm not entirely sure what for. Who knows? Um, but that's happening, so that's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> totally random Sunday. Um, anyway, I've got to go to bed and I get up in the morning because it's Monday and that sucks. Um, so you need to go away now because it's just creepy if you're watching me. Go on, shoot. Go on, go away. Go on. Excellent. I was here at 9.33. It is now 9.53, just about. And Outlook still hasn't opened. That's 20 minutes of my time. I'm never getting back. Come on. Here is our exciting board of things happening on Hart. Um, this morning I noticed Rob Bryden, he didn't quite make it in because the traffic's bad. And at 9 to 9.30 the Hoff. Now, that's all well and good. If the Hoff had made it in, we have various Hoff related facts here. Yeah, there he is. It's all the stuff about Hoff. And some script for Hoff related things. But unfortunately, um, Hoff never made it. Uh, Hoff made it as far as reception. As far as we're aware, um, he was in reception briefly before his people, um, and then when his people came, they decided that um, the Hoff wasn't ready. Now, so they bundled the Hoff. I say bundled, they assisted the Hoff in getting into the back of the car, and they um, spirited him away. Um, and the only thing we know is what we, the reports we had from security and the builders. Uh, which is to say that uh, Hoff was a bit staggery and a bit all over the place and um, same, didn't seem quite with it. So um, that's, that's all we know about the Hoff at the moment. But um, it certainly wouldn't be out of character with um, previous Hoff-related stories that you might have seen in the press. But um, no, any more than that, uh, we simply don't know. So that's a shame. Um, we're, we were Hoffless. Um, he was taken off our hands, as it were, so there we go. No Hoff. Boom. Well, this is very different weather um, to what we had a couple of weeks ago when I was doing this walk. It's about 7 degrees, the sun is very low, but still no clouds, so can't complain yet. I'm going to take a slightly different route, see how it goes. Tell me, can you think of a much better view to walk in with? really amazing 
cold, crisp day. Just heading across the bridge onto the north side. Adrian, do you want to swap yours with Russ? Because there seems to be a gap up in between. There we go. Ready? Wonderful. Well, I'm th we've got the big heart logo behind Adrian as well. Oh, oh, battery. So I try taking a still. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a backlight. That's Martin is older today. I mean, he was older yesterday, but he's even older today. Fiona was that older at the start of the week. Welcome to the older party. So there we go, uh, that's the end of another week and uh, tonight is officially the last, last night um, I exist as a, um, a single man in a home, let's put it that way. Uh, Crystal moves in tomorrow, so uh, that is, that is going to take a bit of work, <laughs> but it's very exciting and very much looking forward to it. So um, that's it for me for this week, uh, have fun, see you soon.